look here at this tab called resources. If you click on it, you will be presented with uh, some choices. The actually the first one related to the GitHub repository refers to notebooks. It's a link. If you click, you will go directly to the GitHub repository. If you go to this template notebook and you click on the button open in collab, you will be brought to collab.research.google.com. Once you are here on this notebook, I would like you to do the following. Well, first read what it says. It's a template Julia notebook. It, doesn't, it makes no sense for the moment, but I would like you to try this to get a little bit familiar. This is a template, so you cannot modify it. Well, if you modify, you cannot save it. So you will have to save a copy in your own Google Drive and maybe in the future, use it as a starting point for your experiment. So you see, you can save a copy in Drive. But for the moment, I'm, this is not what I would like you to do. I would like you to ensure that here it's not connect, so you have to click so that it is actually connecting, whatever it means. I will tell you in class or later what connecting means. And after it gets ready, connected, you're basically accessing a computer in the cloud for free. And each of this cell can be text or can be code. These gray are code, and these two things are code in a language that is called Julia. I would like you to go only at the first cell, and I'm not telling you what it is, and I would like you to press this play button. And yes, it's not authored by Google, but you can trust me, you can run anyway. And this is a trick I found to make you using Julia on Google Collab instead of using Python. It takes two minutes, and this is unrelated to the laptop, tablet, mobile phone that you are going to use because the computer is Google's computer. It's in the cloud. Okay, so it worked. It finished, finally. How long did it, did it take? Ah, three minutes. Uh, well, okay. Uh, 182, yes, three minutes. So once you see this congrats installation was successful, you have to refre refresh, reload the page. You have many possibilities either by um, keyboard shortcuts, depending if you are on a Windows or on a Mac, or your, web, your browser has usually some refresh button. If I refresh, yes, I want to leave the page. You are going to be reconnecting. Technically, you are reconnecting to the same virtual computer in the cloud. But this time, you're going to use Julia. So it's going to be Julia ready. So this one, I'm not executing launching anymore. It's not needed. I go directly here and I try to launch this cell. Yes, I trust it. And if you see 25, it means that it worked because this is a Julia code. I invite you to see whether, although you don't know anything probably about programming, whether this looks so difficult or not. And maybe click also here to see whether out of the box we get also the ability of plotting functions. So it's a beautiful sinusoid. And by the way, if I put here, for instance, sinusoid, uh, minus uh, where uh, minus one and I launch it again by default it's dot minus one then you see that the graph changed so try to see whether you can do exactly as I did it means that you are a tiny bit familiar with Google collab and what it means and I think if you press here, you will leave the page. And no, so it was collab. So if you directly go to collabresearchgoogle.com, you have at the beginning some sort of information. It may be a little bit too technical, but 
I invite you maybe to try to explore it. There is even a video of uh, Google engineers telling why Google Collab is so cool. And the name Collab is coming from academia and science, which is getting open and collaboration is the essence of it. So enjoy.